Well, here we are at Gold Coast Airport after the Gold Coast Airport Marathon, Robbo. And I can tell you, or you can tell us, how many days is it till Glasgow? I see it's not long to go now. It's only 15 days, just over two weeks until the 20 of Commonwealth Games over there in Glasgow. Mossy, it's very, very exciting. But look where we are here. We're at the Gold Coast Airport, like you said. This is telling us how many days to go until the Gold Coast 21st Commonwealth Games right up here in Queensland. And Mossy, uh, three years, 272 days, six hours and only 22 minutes. So it's just around the corner. Well, we could talk that entire time, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, mate, we've been up here. We uh, went to the, the marathon. Uh, we spoke before the marathon at a press conference to a number of different uh, competitors uh, and the chief in particular going over there to the Commonwealth Games. The first one we spoke to was Mel. Melanie Paniatu, who's going over there for her first Com Games as a marathon runner. Here's what she had to say. Well, firstly, Melanie, congratulations on uh, the Commonwealth Games uh, selection. Um, where were you when you found out? I was actually at work. I'm the veterinarian for Australia Zoo, so I was in the middle of seeing patients and, and had to put that on hold for a minute and compose myself. What sort of patients were you seeing at the time? Oh, I think I was seeing a couple of snakes, actually, in the hospital. So they were happy to wait. So in the, in the marathon, Com Games over there in Glasgow, what are your expectations? Um, well, you know, to be on the start line representing the country is an amazing honour. So I'm just stoked to be doing that. And anything else is going to be a bonus. So if I can come away with a PB, I'm going to be really happy. I always like to uh, find out a few different things. Uh, firstly, uh, what I want to know is your pre-race meal. Uh, it's not too interesting actually, it's usually just a bit of gluten free fruit toast and a coffee. What about, uh, what do you think when you hear the word goal? Oh, I think absolutely over the moon, amazing, can't even really imagine it. Well thanks very much for joining us today, uh, all the best over there in Glasgow, look forward to catching up and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your preparation. Thanks so much. Well, then we got to catch up with another of the marathoners, and it's Sarah Klein from Victoria. Let's hear how excited she is. So we're here on the Gold Coast with the marathoner from Mooradak on the Mornings Peninsula, Sarah Klein. You're on your way to the Commonwealth Games. You must be pinching yourself. Yeah, I still, there is an element of um, me still pinching myself. It's a dream come true. I can't wait to get over there, and we're in the final stages of getting everything ready now and looking forward to getting to Glasgow. You would have had your uh, uniform just arrive uh, in the last couple of days. Uh, what are your thoughts on the uniform? Um, look, I'd be happy to run in a paper bag to be in this same position. So um, we've well, got a lot of uniform, which is really exciting. Um, hopefully, I don't know if I'm allowed to maybe swap some items with different countries when we get over there. You can swap for a tartan couch <laughs> shirt if you want. <laughs> we've got one right here. <laughs> yeah, I might be able to do that too. Um, but yeah, heaps of stuff and it's um, yeah really starting to sink in when um, packages like that arrive at your front door. Yeah, you're only pretty new to this marathon game, aren't you? So, um, you know, what are your realistic expectations when you get over there to Glasgow? Um, realistically, I want to run a PB. Um, so anything sort of under 2 hours 38 I think would be realistic. There's obviously going to be some girls that are running a lot quicker than what I can at the moment in the race. So I need to just make sure that I run my own race on the day and give myself the best chance of running the best race that I can. Just tell me, uh, where are the Commonwealth Games being held? Glasgow. <laughs> now, a, a couple of uh, things I, I do want to just quickly go through. You're a teacher, I understand, at Caulfield Grammar School down there. Um, have you been mobbed in the playground or what, what are the kids' reaction to you uh, going to uh, Glasgow? Um, their initial reaction was uh, to come and get my autograph. So I was in class actually when the announcement was made official and I had some of my students come up the front and they asked me to sign their books and I signed it, get back to work and put my signature underneath. So um, they've been really supportive. The school's been great, the kids have been great and um, you know I'm really, really glad that I can share this experience with them. Your favourite pre-race meal? Uh, Noki. Hockey or knocky? Knocky. <laughs> <laughs> um, lastly, just want to get your thoughts. So I'm going to say one word. I want you to uh, tell me what you think. Gold. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here on the Gold Coast for the Gold Coast Airport Marathon. I have a champion of the sport here, Sarah Klein. She has been selected to go all the way to Glasgow for the Commonwealth Games and we're going to present her with a very own tartan couch t-shirt. Sarah, congratulations and wear this with pride. 
I certainly will. Thank you very much. You know you made it when you get one of these t-shirts, so thank you guys. Now Robbo, if we weren't jumping out of our skin speaking to those marathon girls, let me tell you, as soon as we spoke to Steve Mon Monaghetti, the chief of the mission, I was absolutely jumping out of my second skin. How about yourself? Yeah, look, it's been, it's been on our hit list. We've been trying to get Mona on the show ever since it began. Finally, we got him on here. Let's see how it went. So we're here with uh, the chief, or the chef, as he's otherwise known, the chief to mission of the Australian Commonwealth Games team, Steve Monaghetti. We've caught up with him up here on the Gold Coast, uh, where he's doing a bit of work for the Gold Coast Airport Marathon. Mona, how's things? Going well, Robbo, yeah, just uh, just getting it done up here before I... This is like a warm-up, just mm. like a like a pre-departure. This is my pre-departure pre test. Very, Make sure I can do the gig. Very much the same for us, <laughs> mate. We know exactly how you're feeling. Just want to throw in there, Monas, um, yep. look, mate, congratulations for being here with us. Um, but uh, being the chef of the, um, the Commonwealth Games, mm -hmm. were you surprised of your inclusion? Yeah, well, it was difficult. I had to go through some rigorous um, standards, you know. I don't know. I thought I only got the B standard, but apparently I must have got the A standard. So I'm happy that it, there, I think there were no other nominations. That's Luck, what lucky you're not in New Zealand, mate. They set it the uh, standard pretty high. They do. That's right. How many, to, how many in I their athletics do? Zero. Zero. There you they go. That's exactly was, right. One who was injured. Uh, secondly, the uniforms, yep. uh, mate. I yep. understand you had a fair bit to do with the uh, the design uh, there with Deodora. Yeah, I had completely zero to do with the design of all uh, fashion Easter is not my strong point, so I can I can let that occur and happen by we other can, people can are a lot that, more mate. cleverer than me. <laughs> exactly, yes. Well, not well. my strong point, but has it been really well received? I take complete credit for everything that's been well received I'm and the deny only, everything that, that's bad. I'm actually the only person in Australia who likes it. Who likes it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, we obviously, you know, what, do I, what did I say? I think I called it functional. That was my word. So don't say much and just say, say one word and stick to it. Well, Mona, to save you having to do as much washing while you're over there in Glasgow, we'd yep. like to present you now with what we're calling the unofficial uh, Australian team uniform. Mm -hmm. And uh, you might have seen this being bantered heavily about on social media, but this is, uh, this is the after... Uh, event wear, and you can yep. wear this out into the pubs and clubs of, of Glasgow uh, if you need to. But yes, I the official. Have to go on a diet, Mon. Well, I'm not Mono, sure about you, the you'd have been a small at one point. I was at one stage. I, I know I've ballooned out. Yeah, yeah. Well, Mossy might be able to swap with yours. That's not a problem. What are you thinking? And this, this, yeah. this that's, 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 that's the official, the official tartan couch t-shirt. That yep. run, jump, chuck, and there's going to be lots of that going on over there in Glasgow. Yeah. And then that's Hopefully the. Uh, I have to discipline the chucks. Yeah, well, that's right, and that's the headband that goes with it. Performance enhancing. Yeah. Asada, it's on there. It's on their, their hit list. They're yep. going to be ca catching up with it soon, we, we expect, but for yes. the time being, it's legal. Right, don't need, so. it. Don't need Deodora, do you? Naked. Well, well no. Right. So, oh, yeah. Controversy, controversy yeah, supreme. Yeah, once again right. by so, the chef. Yes, but anyway, no, thanks for that. I always accept... I'm, I, technically, I'm not allowed to accept any freebies, so... But it, um, Who I'll, said it was can you give, can you give right. me a back scratch, <laughs> Mona? <laughs> last, exactly. last thing we need to just uh, quickly check off, yes, uh, Steve Monaghetti. Yes. Uh, what's your favourite part of the Gold Coast? Uh, my favourite part of the Gold Coast is the finish line of the Gold Coast Airport Marathon because that's, everyone's happy to see that. <laughs> What's your favourite pre-race meal? Uh, I'm not allowed to say pasta anymore, am I? I can just say steak and red wine because I don't run anymore. There you go. Tell us what you think when I say the word gold. Medal. That's Steve Monaghetti, the chef or the chief de mission. We'll see him over in Glasgow. Thanks for spending time with Mossy and Robbo. No worries. Thanks, Robbo. Thanks, Mossy. Good on you, boys. See you there. Well, if you haven't noticed anything different about me, it's not these sunnies that I bought up here in the Gold Coast. What is it, Robbo? Mate, it looks like you're wearing a lovely uh, shade of green and gold here. Tell us a bit about what this is all about. This is the official for the uh, Glasgow Commonwealth Games, the Australians' outfit that they're getting. A lot of athletes got their sent to them. We know here's a picture of Craig Burns. He got it uh, delivered at work. They're all over Australia getting them. And I was excited when the Commonwealth Games committee sent me through mine, and we'll uh, reveal more of that uh, over the time. It has been controversial, but Robo, you know, I'm a huge fan of the uh, uniform. Yeah, well, look, and I've heard the athletes say themselves they'd wear anything, uh, even a Hessian bag, if it meant representing their country <laughs> at the Com Games. We can arrange that if you like, and uh, we might turn up at Glasgow with some Hessian, but look, I think it looks fantastic, Mossy. Yeah, great to get the kit. Uh, look forward to getting over there and uh, and seeing how it all unfolds. The tracksuit's going to be absolutely special, special, but we'll keep that up our sleeve for now. Do you reckon these are perhaps part of the uniform? I think so, yeah. Aviators, the, oh, there's a bit of gold on them as well. So, yeah, looking good, Mossy. Well, I might finish the show uh, in this. Now, Mossy, uh, just quickly, over in Scotland, the, the uniforms have been revealed just in the last 24 hours, and there's a whole bunch of controversy. Oh. We thought 
thought we thought they got a bad uh, flack over here in Australia. The Scots have absolutely gone to town on social media. There are uh, look at here's a look at it here. I don't think it's too bad, Mossy. The, what would you expect? It's got the kilt here. Uh, what, what's your take on Mate, it? Mate, I'm a huge fan of it. They've done uh, particularly well. Uh, the fact that it is light blue, which reminds me of let's think of uh, Uruguay, of Argentina. Don't mention the Falklands Wall for the English, but I think it's a great. It's a paying homage to those who can't find themselves at the Commonwealth Games. It's also in a state of origin time at the moment. It's a lovely shade of blue, so uh, maybe it's a, a tip, tip of the cat cap to the New South Wales Blues back here in Australia as well. Matches your sunnies too, oh, Mossy, and the hat. So, hey? so look, if the Scots are out there and they don't particularly like those uniforms, look, give them to us. We'll wear them. Uh, I think they're fantastic, Mossy, and they'll be a great collector's item. So it wouldn't be any huge athletics event in the world without a mascot. We know that over there in Glasgow, that's Clive, the Commonwealth Games mascot. We can think all the way back to many of the mascots out there. So Robbo, as far as looking at the mascot for the Gold Coast Double X One Commonwealth Games, we're going to have to think about this, and we've time's running out, mate. As we see, there it's well, now six hours and eighteen minutes to go. Yeah, Mossy, and this is one of the things. Not only are we up here on the Gold Coast this weekend to help out with the Gold Coast Airport Marathon, but the actual organising committee for Gold Coast 2018 asked us to come on board. They know our experience and our passion about the uh, about the mascots, and they said, "Look, guys, we want you to consult to us. Tell us what you think can be our mascot for the games." And so we've asked the people, we've canvassed the people up and down the Gold Coast to try and get a gauge of what they want as their mascot. Uh, look, there was even this clip on the news uh, just last week and have a little look at this crazy idea that's being surf surfacing. With a wink, Matilda the Kangaroo captivated the Commonwealth back at the 1982 Brisbane Games. And just watch for the blinking eye too. It's fabulous. 32 years later, the six tonne, 13 metre tall giant sits by the side of the Bruce Highway north of the Sunshine Coast, but she could be back in the game. Matilda really has endeared herself in the hearts of millions of people, but of course we will be looking at all options. Matilda's in the running to be named the mascot for the 2018 Gold Coast Commonwealth Games. Some though think it's time to let sleeping kangaroos lie. I think uh, Matilda had, has, has had her last waltz. Move it on, enjoy it. We, we've got a great memory, but uh, we're going to make our own memories here in the city. The spirit of the 1982 Commonwealth Games is well and truly alive on the Gold Coast after this small-scale replica of Matilda was built here at this Tugan petrol station last year. I remember when I was 10, uh, I, uh, when the Commonwealth Games on last time. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I think we should. Mayor Tom Tate is keen to see the public decide, confirming today he'll open a competition for mascot designs. If the uh, Commonwealth Games don't want to open it, the city will, and let's ask the people what they want. The state government agrees, saying it will accept public feedback. So let's make sure that there are plenty of conversations, heaps of ideas, and you never know, we may have multiple mascots. An announcement on the official mascots isn't expected until late next year. Matthew Howard, 10 Eyewitness News. So what about that, Mossy? Matilda, you know, Tom Tate, the mayor here at the Gold Coast, he's not a big fan of it at all. We actually ducked out to uh, the, the junior Matilda. This is Joey uh, out here. This is just on the southern Gold Coast at Chugan to have a little play around here. Mate, what do you think about Matilda? Can we recycle mascots? No, I don't think so. I mean, we're almost in New South Wales here, and that one was a Brisbane in Queensland. And, and Matilda, you know, such a fantastic oh, icon of the Brisbane Games. And it's, it's all we remember it for, that's uh, for sure. But we're here on the Gold Coast. You know, some people have been controversial talking something silly like a dolphin or maybe even a I've, turtle. I've heard bilbies, uh, tawny frogmouth as well. Uh, so, you know, you're going to get these usual sort of, sort of things coming up. But What I was thinking about is let's get really aggressive. Let's yeah. make these the most aggressive Commonwealth Games in the history of mankind, Robbo. Polite. Think, oh, Pol yeah, polite. Polite but aggressive. Yeah, yeah, polite but aggressive, something cool, something mm. funky. What I'm thinking about is a bull shark, Robbo. A bull shark here for the Gold Coast Double X One Games. Well, Mossy, nothing says Gold Coast to me more than a bull shark. You look, they're in the media every other week. Uh, there's reports of sightings, attacks, uh, biting. So there's, you know, it's, it's, it's very common here in, in the Gold Coast. And yeah, they get a bit of a bad rap, but uh, look, I think the, the bull shark is a great selection. The only thing is, you can't just call it a bull shark. It actually has to have, have a name. And I know you've been out there on the streets yeah. looking, talking to the people, talking to 
all the delegates and to find out a name for this bull shark. What have you come up with, Robbo? Well, Mossy, nothing says Gold Coast more than Schoolie, oh, and uh, that's the name nice. of, the, of, the, of the mascot. So it's Schoolie the bull shark. Get used to that, folks. Uh, we've sent that to Jan Stuckey, the Minister of the Commonwealth Games. She's all across it. I think it's going to be uh, signed off even today. So uh, expect that. It's going to be Clyde passing on to Schoolie the bull shark. But I reckon we should go one up on that and have two mascots, Robbo. So if we've got Schoolie, what else can we have? Well, I hear uh, there's a bit of a push for Tooley ah, to join. So good. we'll see what happens there. But uh, no, definitely Schoolie the bull shark and we'll, we'll see what else evolves. But now it's exciting times in the world of Commonwealth Games mascots. Well, we've only got 10 sleeps to go till we head over there to Glasgow for the double X Games. Robbo, you're jumping out of your skin. So am I. I what? think it's... I'm not, I think it's going to be zero sleep, so I'm not going to be able to sleep at all, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't slept just like Clive. I haven't slept for the last four years. Now, listen, if you can get out there and like us on Facebook, Mossy and Robbo, yep. we want 1,000 more likes from this episode. 10,000. 10,000 yes, more likes. 10,000. Yeah, and we'll be back in just a, a couple of days to give you the next update of the Road to Glasgow. And don't forget, everyone, as always, run, jump and chuck. We are uh, looking forward to the Gold Coast uh, Games, which yep. are up in, in 2018. Um, what do you think would be a good mascot? Oh, I don't really know. What something do you think? like a surfboard or something? A surfboard? Yeah. What would we call the surfboard? Surfy? Looking at uh, the Commonwealth Games here, 2018, yeah. everyone's getting pumped. We need yeah. to come up with a mascot. Uh, uh, people here. Are, yeah, people are talking about platypus, turtles. Oh, right. What do you reckon? Well, besides our own um, Australian symbol, you know, I mean, we did that for the Olympics, didn't we, with the kangaroo and all that? Absolutely. So what about a koala or a possum? What about if I said something that's more related to the Gold Coast? What about Schoolie the bull shark? <laughs> yeah, you can do that. <laughs>